Okay, I'm sorry about that. I hit the space bar and everything ended. But what I was trying to say is that uh, one of the most important things about this lifestyle is your nutrition. If you don't follow good nutrition, your workouts are in vain. Um, every time I do a workout, prior to that workout and after that workout, I've uh, pretty much resolved what I'm eating, what I'm drinking. I, I won't eat about two hours before a workout or further back. Um, every so often I break that rule and I pay for it. When I do my workout, I get sluggish. Now, on the other hand, before a workout, you can have a, like a small apple or a, maybe a half of a banana just to give you some immediate fuel. You can take a rice cake, you can put some honey on it. That's fine. And that would be a good thing to do if you just woke up and you were going to do your workout. Now, you have to be careful because if you're going to do insanity or plyometric and you eat something like that, you might vomit. You might be looking at what you ate uh, while you're working out midway through. After you work out, what you really want to do is drink recovery formula. And if you're a woman, you can drink a half portion because it's just a little bit too much for women. You want to drink that within the hour after you work out. After you drink your recovery formula, you want to wait till you digest it, maybe 45 minutes, and then you should have a nice protein meal, uh, something with uh, moderate carbs, if you will. Try not to have fat. And, you know, you can also have your Shakeology if you want to do that, or you can have your protein drink. But you don't want to eat or drink any of that if you've already drank recovery formula. If for some reason you don't drink your recovery formula, then go ahead after you work out, eat your protein meal or drink your Shakeology or drink your protein shake. And the reason why it's okay then is because if you had drank the recovery formula, anything that you eat or drink immediately after drinking your recovery formula is going to basically throw off the way the recovery formula works. It's going to offset that four to one ratio of uh, carbs to protein. Your, your body is not going to be able to do the job of what the recovery formula is expected to do. Are you going to get sick? No. Are you wasting money? Absolutely. Um, I want to talk about one more thing. I want to just uh, kind of jump outside of what I'm speaking about for a moment and make mention that about uh, three weeks ago, I hurt my knee when I had been doing uh, Insanity. And actually, I think I might have heard it from doing legs and back. And I didn't realize it, but when I was doing my lunges, I was bringing my knee past my toes, which, which is a big no-no. Uh, you, you really don't want to bring your knee any more forward. Uh, you, you want to lunge back. You, you almost want your, your uh, ankle to stay vertical. I was not doing that. And luckily, my injury was just uh, like a little bit of a strain. It, it really wasn't anything. But the first thing I didn't do was ice it. If, uh, if I had done that, that might have helped. But um, what I did do is I picked up a, uh, a little knee wrap, which is this right here. I went down to my pharmacy, and I spent about $17 on it. And I got this, this version that you can, you can microwave and you do it for 10 seconds and it makes it nice and warm and then I put that on my knee and it gives me great comfort. You can also you can also freeze this if, if you want to put cold on the uh, injury, you know, rice, rest, uh, ice, compression and elevation, uh, what have you. So I did this for about a week. I, I took a break from doing anything, from doing P90X, from doing Insanity. I just did some yoga and I, I really needed that break in many ways more than none because I had never really taken a break between rounds. So anyway, I finally reached the point where I'm starting to feel better. So I buy one more thing for another $14. I buy a, uh, a knee patella support strap, which is this gizmo right here. I picked this up at Dick's Sporting Goods and you can get them. And what you do is you wrap this around your knee. It's, um, it's basically a Velcro strap and it kind of keeps everything nice and together. It, it provides stability and support. And I find that when I'm doing my workouts, I'm not in any pain. The pain's going away. I, I took this very seriously. I didn't want to be somebody who had a, um, a problem with my knee that would stop me from training. It, it, you know, I've come too far to have that happen. Uh, and this is also something that you can put on your elbow if you get a pain from, uh, you know, maybe doing shoulders and arms or something, or if you come down too hard when you're doing insanity with the push-ups. You know, 
uh, Tony Horton says it, and Sean T says it, you really need to be careful with your form when you're doing these training moves and you have to do your you have to do your stretching and you have to do your cool down and sometimes if we're pressed for time it's very easy to say you know I don't need to do that or you might say I'm a big shot I've done four rounds I don't need to stretch I, I can go right into the workout well you're dead wrong <laughs> and I almost had that happen to me you you've gotta take your muscles seriously your muscles are like rubber bands and as we go into the colder weather you're gonna find that you need to stretch more um, so Anyway, I just wanted to, you know, give everybody a little chapter and verse on what I'm doing with my training and with the nutrition. The um, I want to just cover one more thing before I end this video. I want to tell everybody that you should never give up. Don't don't ever feel like you're expected to do more than you're capable of. I don't mean that you should quit. I don't mean that you shouldn't push the envelope. But don't get discouraged if you if you have a situation where you miss a workout or if you binge drink or something stupid, if you eat too much, just go the next day and start over. Wipe the slate clean and go forward. Now, even I have repeated weeks. Um, I did that in round two. I repeated, I think, my fifth week because I was disappointed with the way I was doing the week. And when I repeated it, it ended up becoming one of the best weeks of that round. I just gave it my all. You know, all my reps went up, all my weight for my dumbbells went up. I was very happy. That's okay, but I didn't say to myself, oh, I've got to repeat week five. It, it doesn't work that way. You, you can't repeat a day in any program. You can't repeat a week. Your life is still going one day closer to the end. You, you've got to do everything you can within that one day, and if you screw up, just go to the next day. Forget the past. Don't, don't spend time thinking about the workout that you botched up or that you did half ass. Spend time planning the workout that you're going to do next. Think about what you're going to do. Think about what didn't work right for you when you did Ab Ripper X and what you're going to do next time. Or, you know, Think about how you're going to use resistance bands if you can't do your pull-ups too well or you're going to use the chair. Um, you know, When you're doing Kempo X, think about how you're going to try and get better lunge range with your kicks and that sort of thing. Just, just don't give up. The best thing anyone in our team can do to help themselves stay motivated, to stay accountable, is every day post your workout. If you're not posting your workout, I know you're not working out. I'm counting on you to post your workouts. Um, I didn't make a group page so that we could socialize and have a lot of fun. Fortunately, we do that. There is a lot of um, camaraderie in our group. Everybody is, is a very nice person. Everybody gets along. Uh, it just pains me that we're on different corners of the earth. We can't all, you know, get together. But who knows? Maybe that day will change. But you've got to come into the group every day. If you write down your workout, you're going to do it. Don't write down the workout after you do it. You write it down both times. Write down before you do it. Write down tonight when I come home. I'm going to do turbo fire. I'm going to tear it up. Or write down. I can't wait till I. Uh, wake up in the morning, I have my uh, back and biceps workout, and I'm going to be like the, the Terminator. Just write anything, because you know that when you wake up that morning, you're going to be tempted to have some coffee and not work out, and you're going to log on, and I'm speaking from experience, and you're going to see right there in the resistance page that you promised yourself that you were going to work out. And you're going to be obligated to work out, because there's an old saying, words fly, the written remain. If you write it down, you will very likely do that workout. Now, go do your workout. You know, have your recovery formula, do everything you're supposed to, take a shower, eat your meal. Then, come back and post how you felt about the workout. Post something positive. You know, you can have a crappy workout and still make a positive uh, post. You can, you can break your arm in the workout, and you can still post something positive. You, you've got to keep an attitude up here that everything is conducive to your own growth, your own progress. If you, if you put negative comments in your post, they're gonna, those are going to set you back. This is all about moving forward. This is a journey. Don't worry about being in a transformation video. Don't worry about being in an infomercial. Um, don't worry about being anything but... Only worry about what you're doing at that moment. Just focus on the moment. And if anything, when you do your workout, don't 
feel like you're doing something terrible. Have a good time. When I was uh, first doing my first round, I used to post on the P90X page that I was having a ball. Uh, I posted one night that I, I wanted to rename Plyometrics Preschool, and a bunch of other coaches tore me a new asshole because of that. They were upset. I didn't care. I felt I was having fun. If you can tell yourself you're having fun doing something, you're going to enjoy it. Um, people always ask me, what's your favorite move, Lou? What do you like to do the best? I say, oh, that's easy. My favorite move is crane. Do you want to know why crane is my favorite move? Because I'm not good at crane. I can only hold it for about a second and a half. I'm a big guy. I have more transforming to do. There's no way you're going to take, um, you know, I was going to say an elephant, but I'm not an elephant anymore. I guess I'm a rhino. You can't take a rhino and balance him very well right now. That day is coming, and I'm not going to give up. My daughter can do crane longer than me. Um, she's my little Drea. Don't give up. Don't, don't feel negative about anything you do. If you screw up a workout, find something in that experience that you can say was a positive growth, uh, you know, was part of the growth process for you. Find something about what you did and push it forward into the next workout. Uh, if you're doing P90X, obviously you should be writing down your reps and your weights. And if you're doing Insanity, you're expected to, you know, follow the form perfectly. And I mentioned earlier, if you don't, you're, you're going to be prone to injury. Um, I just want to tell everybody, too, before I end this video, that I'm very proud of what everyone is doing. Uh, this group is incredible. We've only had a group page since uh, late, since mid-February. And we started with about five people. And some of those people became coaches, uh, like Susan. And, you know... It's, it's absolutely wonderful to be working with everybody. I am, I am so happy to be able to help all of you. I want all of you to feel like you can approach me for anything. I'm not going to bite your head off. I might, I might beat you a little bit, but I'm never going to put you down. Um, I'm not going to go Louis Gossett Jr. on you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little more like Morgan Freeman. I'm going to make you a little happier. You know, there are seven deadly sins, like, like Morgan Freeman. But just try to keep the tone that... You can come to me with your problems, but don't expect me to blow your nose. You've, um, we're all big boys and big girls. We've got to put on our big boy suit and our big girl suit, and we've got to step up to the responsibility. If you keep blowing your diet, if you keep missing your workouts, there's very little I can do to help you. But if you want ways to improve, if you want ideas, that's when I'm going to shine for you. So keep that in mind. I want everyone to have a great night. Keep posting, you know. I want you to bring in. I want you to dig deep. I want you to do everything necessary. And we're going to be making a lot more videos. We're going to, we're going to take the whole team up several notches. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. So 